In this video, I will demonstrate how to determine the CO2 content in an airflow using the CAGC unit. First, fill the container with this KOH solution and place it here, like this. Each valve has three dots which show the path of the airflow. The side without the dot is closed. Arrange valve VT3 to allow air to flow from the syringe to the atmosphere. And arrange valve VT2 to connect to the U-shaped vessels. Make sure the syringe is fully compressed by expelling the air to the atmosphere. Close valve VT3 to the atmosphere, which connects the syringe in this circuit, allowing it to charge the KOH solution to the vessels. Make sure valve V1 is open and push the plunger downwards, sucking the KOH solution up through the U-shaped vessel. Repeat by first closing VT3 and expelling the air to the atmosphere. Make sure the solution rises to a level somewhere within the measured range below valve VT2. To keep this level fixed, close both VT2 and V1 isolating this portion of the line. Ensure that valves VT5 and VT4 are closed as we will not be using this portion of the unit. Turn on the airflow by activating the pump using the software and adjust the flow to the desired value, 60% for example. Next, open the CO2 tank providing one bar of pressure to the unit and adjust the flow as needed. In this experiment, we will use 40%. Arranging valve VT1 determines where in the column samples are taken from. Positioning the valve like this, samples are taken from the upper part. In today's experiment, we will use this configuration, which takes samples from the middle of the column. Now, push the plunger down, drawing the air mixture from the column into the syringe. Turn valve VT3 to expel the sample to the atmosphere. Repeat these steps five to six times to clear the lines and to ensure that the sample is representative of the mixture in the column. Take the final sample of 100 milliliters and be careful to note how the volume is measured with reference to the plunger in order to maintain consistency with measurements. Close VT3 to isolate the sample and let it stabilize for approximately 10 seconds. Then quickly open VT3 and VT2, connecting the syringe to the U-shaped vessels. The solution level will drop slightly. Mark the level with a pen when it has stabilized. Push the plunger of the syringe upwards to introduce the gas sample in the vessel with the KOH solution. Pull the plunger back down so that the solution returns to the previously marked level. The amount of CO2 absorbed by the KOH solution is measured by the volume reduction in the syringe. Repeat these steps, gently pushing the sample into the vessel. Do not try to force the sample all at once. It takes time for the KOH to absorb the CO2, so be patient. Continue this process until you are able to easily compress the plunger and the volume reduction in the syringe is constant. Now the absorption by the KOH solution is complete. Pull the plunger down to bring the solution to the marked level and carefully measure the value shown on the syringe. In this experiment, the KOH solution absorbed 25 milliliters of CO2. 